Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my tricks to tell apart the main murmurs that we should know and how to remember where they are located. And before I show you my trick to remember the locations for all the, the murmurs, I want to go ahead and teach you a little bit about how I recognize them in the first place. So my trick is I remember aortic stenosis. Why? Because as I've highlighted in this S, it, to me it stands for systolic. So aortic valve, aortic stenosis would be a systolic murmur. That leaves aortic regurgitation to be a diastolic murmur. Now for mitral valve, I flip it. So the mitral stenosis would actually be a diastolic murmur. And that leaves mitral regurgitation being the opposite, which is systolic. So again, if you remember aortic stenosis, as being a systolic murmur, you'll flip it and get a diastolic aortic regurg, and you'll do the opposite for mitral. So now we're moving on to uh, my second trick, which is where are the murmurs going to be located? So as you can see, we've got these four points labeled in our first aid book. Now my trick is really simple. You just have to remember one mnemonic. All physicians take money in that specific order. As you know, A stands for aortic, P for, for pulmonic, T for tricuspid, and M for mitral. And I'm going to go over a little bit about what you'll find in auscultation for each spot. So to summarize, we have four cardiac valves. The A and P, aortic and pulmonic valve, will have the stenosis of these two valves. The left sternal border will have the regurgitation of these two valves, aortic and pulmonic. And then tricuspid and mitral valve will have both the systolic and diastolic of each pertinent valve, as well as VSD and ASD in the tricuspid area, and mitral valve prolapse in the mitral area. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know, and good luck!